Hello and welcome to The Chart Show. I'm Victoria Scholar and this week's chart is Netflix. Shares in Netflix rose 8% after hours after it lost nearly 1 million subscribers in the second quarter, beating downbeat expectations for a drop of 2 million with its hit series Stranger Things helping the streaming giant from losing even more customers. However, the company's forecast for new subscribers in the current quarter came in at 1 million, falling short of estimates for 1.8 million. Netflix also announced plans to acquire the maker of Happy Feet and the Lego movie Animal Logic as it continues to focus on digital animation. Netflix is contending with a cocktail of pressures. Its key North American market is becoming saturated. Rising inflation is causing households to cut back on non-essential spending. There's tough competition from the likes of Disney Plus and Amazon Prime and others. And there are signs of a slowing global economy, which is likely to weigh on demand for streaming. However, Netflix is being proactive, soothing investors with plans to introduce a cheaper service, which plays adverts in early next year, and it's also planning to crack down on password sharing. Post-pandemic, the stay-at-home stocks have fallen massively out of favour. Plus, with the onslaught of competition, Netflix is inevitably losing its crown. The streaming giant somewhat naively raised its prices this year, expecting that subscribers would remain loyal. But with the cost of living crisis, clearly Netflix is much more price sensitive than it's thought, suggesting that it needs to be cautious around pricing going forward, given that it's deeply dependent on the consumer. Let's take a look now at the chart because shares have shared about two thirds of their value so far this year amid concerns about an economic slowdown and slowing subscribers. Back in April, shares plunged 25% after the company reported a loss of 200,000 subscribers in the first quarter, the first reduction in customers in over a decade. The after hours move on Tuesday night helped offset some of the recent weakness, but there's still a daunting uphill climb to reclaim the highs. On this five-year chart, you can see the clear ascent to the peak in November of last year. Since then, the stock has slumped from around $700 to $200, which is the next key psychological support level to watch. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching The Chart Show. We'll see you here uh, at the same time next week.